Hello, my name is Connie Kennedy Howard and I'm chair of the college theater department and will be directing Under Milkwood this spring. And I'm Amelia Barrett, professor of theater and director of War of the Worlds, the Panic Broadcast. We are here to talk to you about both the auditions for the two shows, which will be completely rehearsed, staged and filmed virtually because of COVID-19 worldwide and the college's efforts to safeguard your health. We're very excited to have you join the department working with these two great scripts this upcoming term. We've done three virtual productions to date, including both shows created from improvisation and scripted material. It has been a huge learning experience building on skills and adapting and thriving in this environment, as well as a lot of fun and community building. So here's some information you need to know about the department and these projects. As we're a college, these shows are classes and every cast member must enroll with a permit created by the director. The class is Rehearsal and Performance, Theater 1120, and the class is the rehearsal and performance for each production. This class is variable credit, which means that you may register for three, two, or one credits. <clears throat> this is usually determined by the instructor for each student enrolled based on a student's contact hours on the project. This decision will be yours if you're cast in one of the productions. Everyone in each production can enroll in three credit hours as we will have much more than the credit hour requirement for those, uh, for those hours in order to rehearse and stage the productions by its conclusion. However, if you're planning to major in theater, this may be the best option for you. Transfer schools will want to see that you've participated robustly in production. If you've acquired a lot of college credit at this point toward transfer, you may wish to consider either two or one credit hours for enrollment. The cast list will be posted by 1-11, that's January 11th at 5 p.m. And you'll need to attend the first virtual rehearsal on January 12th at 7 p.m. where the credit hour for your enrollment will be confirmed, the permit generated the next day, and you'll need to be enrolled by Friday, January 15th at 5 p.m. We'll talk about auditions in a moment, but the audition form which you'll be filling out is considered a contract with the department. Be thorough on your submission. It's possible that one or both of us will ask via email or phone if a conflict on your form is movable after you've submitted. Obviously, the fewer conflicts one has, the more flexible it can be to create a schedule because though virtual, we need to rehearse live to build the shows. Also attached to this page is a sheet from our department handbook called Actors Conduct. Though we don't think any of it will be surprising, there are expectations we have of our actors working in and toward professional models. As one would expect at a college department, filling your signature line on the audition form, which we must have to consider you, signifies that you understand and accept those expectations and that you've been thorough on the information submitted. You need to remain in good standing in all of your courses to participate in the production. And if you have a tattoo that will be visible through this virtual production, the director and the costume, um, the customer will decide if it is appropriate for the character or not. And if not, you'll need to purchase the cover up to eliminate it from view. In, addi in addition, excuse me, answer the hair question on your form carefully. So, Under Milkwood, which I'm directing, is um, about a day in the life of a small quirky village in Wales. It is by turns um, hilarious. Um, it's also very touching and at times uh, uh, bittersweet. Um, uh, it's a wonderful piece to nab into. It's unusual because the play starts actually while, while everybody's asleep. And then we learn about their dreams and their aspirations and their um, wants while they're asleep and then we see them throughout the next day. Um, so, but it's about 24 hours in the life of this town. Um, and they are great characters to work on, particularly during this time where people are um, often reviewing what they want in life as they look um, forward during the pandemic. And uh, War of the Worlds, the panic broadcast is an, uh, an homage to the original War of the Worlds radio broadcast, where an alien invasion throws humanity into chaos in a classic sci-fi novel, The War of the Worlds. But it all took um, 
real life panic throughout the United States when Orson Welles in the 1938 radio adaptation played it live and people believed it. This play takes place 10 years later at the WPFR radio ensemble and they recreate the colorful, excuse me, colorful events surrounding that infamous evening, including full original broadcast, complete with vintage commercials and live sound effects. It's a radio play within a play and it's a thrilling homage to the golden age of radio. It should be an absolute ball to rehearse and perform. So auditions, you're gonna open and fill out the fillable audition form located on this page. Both directors will use this form. So please be thorough in noting all of your conflicts from January 1st through April 23rd, 2021. Additional conflicts probably cannot be accommodated as the rehearsal schedule for both shows will be created using these forms. Those rehearsals will probably be primarily late afternoon, weekday evenings, and weekend times. Exactly what those schedules are will be dependent, at least partially, by the availability of all of the parties on the project. Each production will probably be rehearsing four to five times a week for six to eight weeks. Though not every actor may be called to every rehearsal, both shows are ensemble shows, so you'll probably be called most of the time. You should save the file that you upload with your full name, audition form, spring 21. Then you're going to choose one short monologue from each of the shows. There's a file of choices on this page from which to choose, and you're going to memorize or read it and then film them using your phone or another device, or you can have somebody else film you. Save that file as your full name, monologues, Spring 21. To submit your audition, you have two options. Option one is upload your form and audition monologues video directly to the College Theater Dropbox. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash tinyurl.com slash CT auditions. You'll see this at the bottom of the page here. Make sure your audition form and video both include your name and the show you're auditioning for in the title. You do not need to have a Dropbox account in order to upload your files. Option two, attach monologues or link to your video to an email and send to CT Auditions. That would be capital C, capital T, auditions at cod.edu. I'm going to say it again. CT Auditions at cod.edu. Subject of your email should read your name slash spring 21 auditions. If you caught that, congratulations. Let me say it one more time. <laughs> your name, spring 21 auditions. Make sure to attach your audition form. Please submit no later than January 8th at 5 p.m. Boy, that's a mouthful. <laughs> We're so excited to see your auditions and to begin work. These will be very diverse and a good acting workout. Thanks so much. Looking forward to it. We'll see you soon.